Merry Christmas in April. Yes, yes, I am rushing the season, and everybody who knows me knows that I'm already planning Christmas. Well, that's kind of planned. I'm working on the Easter of ne for next year. So, here we are. I want to talk a moment about this one particular bell, the E flat 6. A couple years ago, I wanted to learn how to sell a ring. And our community group actually had two sets of bells. One which we used all the time and the other one which sat in storage. And they were willing to loan me the set that was in storage, some of which you see in front of me today. And as fate would have it, there were four bells missing, one of which I needed, which was, of course, E flat six. So I went out and purchased it. It has been dedicated to the memory of my grandparents, Ralph and Dortha Burkholder. Well, as fate would have it, the four missing bells have arrived. So now we have three E flat sixes. What a wonderful problem to have. Now, some of you may be wondering why we needed, why I'm using a second set of bells. In our next video, which you will see um, is the silver bells in performance, at Trinity Lutheran Church here in Windsor. You'll notice that there's a, set, there's a table behind me with the bells. And that's so that I could do a solo and not have to go looking through the bells that are out at the individual, at the tables, and I would have them all set up ready for my solo. Our next piece is Carol of the Bells. We start each of we have started each of our Christmas concerts with this piece. It was arranged by Jason W. Krug and features prominently E flat six. And now I'm going to shut up and you can enjoy Silver Bells playing. Carol of the Bells, arranged by Jason W. Krug. 